Finally, some good fucking food. Dual overload, baby. What is up, Epic Gamers? It's here. Yes, that's right. The dual overload set is here. I've got three mini boxes. Here's the back. So many Link Monsters. It's overloading the system. Three boxes, um, 16 packs. Um, I'm going to unbox these and I'll be back in a moment so we don't have to open one box at a time. See you in a second. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Some nice food. 16 dual overload packs. But before we get into the packs, as you might know, there are some special oversized promo cards in these boxes. Uh, and as you can see, the backs are black and white, and they print them as, um, as manga cards. So uh, first up, let's take a look at these. The first one we have is... Ooh, well that's a fan favorite, right? Dark Magician Girl. And I'm really glad they put them in plastic because these are really hard to keep. We have, yes, my favorite, the tour guide from the underworld. A really an original idea, man. I love it. And then lastly, we, oh, we have another tour guide from the underworld. So I guess that one's pretty common then. Really cool. So that's an alternate artwork for tour guide from the underworld. Really cool. And as you can see, we have some different artworks on the packs, which I'm a huge fan of. I wish they did this more often. Um, let's see, I only got one uh, Link God Dragon pack, so I'm saving that for last, because that might bring some good luck. And we only have one Cyber Dragon Infinity pack. So those two will probably have the best pulls. Not really. But let's get to it. Um... All the cards in this set are ultra rare. I wish there were different rarities, you know, like four ultras and one secret, but you can't have it all. Uh, Cubic Causality, Magical Musketeer Kaspar, King Dragoon, and Speedroid Marble Machine. And these cards look pretty fresh and clean, I like it. Next pack with the uh, Sky Striker Zeke, I think it's called. So, in this set there is a lot of cool um, OCG imports like Ancient Gear Ballista right here, uh, Dreadnought, 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 excuse me. Uh, so a lot of Link Vrain Spec cards that the OCG already had. Um, Phantasm Emperor Thri Trilogig, Trilogig, a lot of premium pack cards, uh, cards that were exclusive to events in Japan. Um, so this is like, ooh, oh, hello, 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 infinite impermanence, very nice. That's uh, one of the be better cards. Not sure what it's worth right now. Synchro Transcend with my boy Arcanite Magician on it. And the last warrior from another planet, finally getting a reprint after all those years. But it's okay, I still have my... Uh, Original Labyrinth of Nightmare copy. So I don't need that one. We have the new Extra Hero Link monster. For the Evil Hero strategy, I believe. Cubic Ascension. Kinyo Sukui. It's like uh, catching goldfish with a little net. And then we have What Giraffe. And an awesome uh, Dangerous Fright for Nightmare. You know, I like puppets, so uh, really cool card. And here's a pack with the new Ferocious Flame Swordsman. He's ferocious for those flames. And um, as a Skull Servant fan... Ooh, yes, there she is! The new artwork for Tour Guide from the Underworld. Let's see if it looks clean, no scratches, no damage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The new artwork for Tour Guide from the Underworld with Sangan and Tardy Orc joining her. And there we go. I was um, I was about to say this set has a foil reprint for one of my all-time favorite cards, Mr. White Mare. Oh man, this is super cool. I'm actually there are so many more exciting cards than this one in this set, 
But a white man, my boy white man, man, he also loves tea. That's awesome. He's gonna go to the side as well. Deck lock down his steric sign and scrap or throws. Not as cool looking as the secret rare, but uh, still a welcome addition, I guess. There we go. Ooh, Dingirsu, the Orcus of the Evening Star. Man, these reprints are loaded, man, I love it. Emma's Judgment. Ooh, the new Reptilian Link Monster. Reptilians is one of those decks that I really want to try and make make it work, but it's uh, it's not very good. But the artwork is pretty sick. Magic Formula and the Hexa Saucer. Pretty sweet, baby. Mm -hmm. Dual Overload. Oh yeah, there's some Madolce um, reprints in here, like Magilene. Oh, here's one of the um, uh, weird, I guess you call, could call it weird, um, OCG imports that was exclusive to, um, I think, a certain event in Japan. And this was one of the promo cards for attending, I think it was. I always love those because they're like a little bit obscure and they're not really part of an archetype. Foil Giga Plan, baby. Um, but they're not really part of an archetype. They're also always really... They're kind of like cards where Konami just has a lot of fun with them. Instead of them making them necessarily good. Um, Bujinki Ahashema. Another Echidna. Deck Lockdown. Saravis, the Ancient and Ascended. And... A world premiere card with really cool artwork, Hollow Giants. Uh, relinquished Anima, really cool card, a relinquished Link Monster. I think uh, one of the earlier translated names was uh, Relinquished with a K, <laughs> you know what, I'm, what I mean. Ooh, ca Golden Castle of Surstroming, very cool. Ooh, and this is the new uh, Link Monster for Buster Bladers. Um, I haven't really looked at it that intensely, but I know that it's a pretty awesome card. And we have a Zombie World that already had a Ultra Rare printing. What the heck? Come on. I already had a place out of that. Then again, if they would print it as a Secret Rare... It's Hal Quiffy Brax, baby! We're getting them good pulls. Chris Tron Hal Quiffy Brax. I was a spelling champion, so uh, not really hard to pronounce for me. Nice, man. We, we got some really. Uh, oh, 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 hello? Oh, 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 oh! We're doing pretty great here, people. Al Mirage, Hal Quiffy Brax. Holy sh- Ooh, we got uh, Ujama Emperor as well. The Malefic Paradox Gear. And the Alien Shock Trooper M-Frame, which stands for McDonald's Frame. Big Mac. More packs, more packs. Give me some gold. Well, we already pulled pretty good. So, uh, we have the Five-Headed Link Dragon. We have the Raid Raptor Wise Strix. We have Emerald. And not too bad. We have Malefic Selector. We have the card of fate. Nice. Oh, it's a Dark Magician. I was like, what's what's this supposed to be? But it's like 25, it's stats, and then Dark Magician right there. Pretty cool. Man, this is um I've been out of Yu-Gi-Oh! a little. You know, I'm 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 still collecting, but I'm like I'm kind of out of it, you know, but this oh. Hello is it Phantasme you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Oh man, there he is. My man, my boy. The legend. We are pulling all the good cards, people. Hell yeah. My day is made. Of course, it's like a crazy uh, situation we're all in right now with the uh, COVID-19. But, um... Just stay positive, open some dual overload, get those endorphins going. Card of Fate, Dark Anthelion Dragon, and Swap Frog. The uh, ultimate rare Swap Frog is a uh, little bit... Oh, that's a little printing error then. A bit out of my budget, so I'll take this ultra rare one. Cute frog. 
So, five more packs. We have the Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn. The last warrior from another planet. This girl. This uh, seed. And my lady again. A kid now. Play set of those. Then we have Celine, Queen of the Master Magicians. And this is also a pretty good card for the Pendulum deck. So I, I believe this is one of the best selling ones. Uh, we have Omega, Terraforming. Ooh, another one of those weird Japanese promos. Uh, what does it even do? When this card is normal summon, you can send cards from the top of your opponent's deck to even number of. Okay, if this card is special, you can send cards from the top of your. Oh, okay, okay. Who knows? Okay, sorry for uh, slacking there. Ooh, we have the alternate art, Chaos Dragon Levianir. I'm not sure if he's like one of the more expensive cards anymore. I believe his original print was really expensive, but it's a pretty usable card. So deck lockdown, Saravis, Hollow Giants, and the magic formula. So, like I did earlier, I put these two packs aside because... They were the only artworks I only had one of. So let's see what's in these last two packs. And we'll do a little recap. And I'm gonna wish you a lot of luck on your duel. Oh baby! Another infinite impermanence! Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Here we are. Finally some good food. I'm gonna feast, baby. I'm gonna feast. Another infinite impermanence. We did it. We did it. Enma's judgment. Enma's judgment is you pull two infinite impermanences. Really cool card, though, in uh, Enma's judgment. Uh, zombies. Another Chaos Dragon Levianir. Welcome back, baby. Digusto Emerald, this malefic selector, card of fate, and Cyframe Lord Omega. Ooga booga. So let's do a little recap here. Such a cool set, man. I'm in love. Um, I think I could put this with the better cards, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, look at that. So um, dual overload. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good buy. I recommend. Um, this weird one again. Uh, the chocolat la mode. We oui. see. Si. Si, senor. Oh, no, that's Spanish. Um, yeah. So, and here we go, guys. Want to see what I, what good cards I pulled? Look at this. I pulled this one. I pulled this one twice. I also pulled this one twice. See, here's the second one. I pulled this man, Thanos Dragon. Thanos Dragon, Thanos Dragon, Thanos Dragon. Okay. Uh, El Mirage, we pulled the Halqui Fibrax, we pulled Dingirsu, and we pulled some of my favorites from this set, and we pulled another Infinite Impermanence. Guys, if you haven't got any dual overload yet, put on your face masks, wash your hands, and go to the nearest GameStop or Game Store, whatever you have in your area, and get this product. I haven't been this excited over a Yu-Gi-Oh product in a long time, especially with these weird black and white cards that I actually really like. Um, and I mean the pools, the pools! I don't know the prices of these reprints from the top of my head, but I can imagine that Infinite Impermanence and... Uh, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> um, <laughs> Infinite Impermanence and Halqui Fibrax are pretty expensive. Dingirsu too, El Mirage maybe. Phantasmi is probably really good, right? I don't know the price. I know that they're good cards. I don't know the prices uh, of the reprints yet because the market really hasn't settled yet. So I really want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you um, in the next one, right? I guess Thanos dragon 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 Thanos dragon